their reproductive life. This bacteria produces lactic acid from glycogen and keeps the vaginal pH acidic. Acidic pH in vagina minimizes the chances of vaginal infection. Next, we are going to study the internal defense or the second line of defense. Let us see the various cell types which are involved. These are neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes and NK cells or the natural killer cells. First, we will discuss inflammation. Inflammation is the body's local response to infection or injury. Regardless of the cause, inflammation is relatively stereotyped since a major trigger is the cell or the tissue injury. The functions of inflammation are to destroy or inactivate foreign invaders and to set the stage for tissue repair. The key actors are the cells that function as phagocytes. As noted earlier, the most important phagocytes are neutrophils, macrophages and macrophage-like cells. In this section, we describe inflammation as it occurs in the non-specific defenses induced by invasion of microbes. Most of the same responses can be elicited by a variety of other injuries like cold, heat and trauma for example. Moreover, we shall see later that inflammation is also an important component of many specific immune defenses in which the inflammation becomes amplified and made more effective. The familiar manifestations of tissue injury and inflammation are local redness, swelling, heat and pain. The events of inflammation that underlie these manifestations are induced and regulated by a huge number of chemical mediators. Now let us see the sequence of events in a non-specific local inflammatory response to bacteria. First, there is entry of bacteria into the tissues. Second, vasodilation of microcirculation in the infected area leading to increased blood flow. Third, there is marked increase in protein permeability of the capillaries and venules in the infected area with resulting diffusion of proteins and filtration of fluid into the interstitial fluid. Fourth, chemotaxis. It is the exit of leukocytes from the venules into the interstitial fluid of the infected area. Next, destruction of bacteria in the tissue either through phagocytosis or by mechanisms not requiring prior phagocytosis. And last, there is repair of the tissue. Any given event of inflammation such as vasodilation may be induced by multiple mediators and any given mediator may induce more than one event. Based on their origins, the mediators fall into two general categories. Number one, peptides, for example, kinins, generated in the infected area by enzymatic actions on proteins that circulate in the plasma. And second, substances secreted into the extracellular fluid from cells that either already exist in the infected area, for example, mast cells, or enter it during inflammation like neutrophils. Let us now go step by step through the process assuming that the bacterial infection in our example is localized to the tissue just beneath the skin. So now we are going to discuss in detail 